Cape Informer back in the building. What's going on, people? Spike Lee's newest entry into his long filmography just landed on Netflix this past weekend, and just why? I've always considered his movies hit or miss, uh, but I am inclined to call out a home run when I see one. The Five Bloods takes us back into a small corner of American history that will continue to be overshadowed by a larger political umbrella. However, the effects of it is still prevalent and will still be for further generations. The movie opens up with historical footage of Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X, along with some graphic material of some of the violence in Vietnam during the time of the war. Four black Vietnam War veterans and lifelong friends regroup in Ho Chi Minh City with a dual mission to recover the body of their former commanding officer and to collect the stash of gold bars that they buried after the firefight in which he was killed. In this meetup, the film starts off surprisingly lighthearted, uh, which doesn't seem strange until a little later on in the film. It's evident that each of these four veterans have gone through four very different walks of life after their time on the battlefield. However, their bond and camaraderie overshadow all that. The feelings on the war and even the people that they once fought for and against have been worked and for one of the veterans in particular. We all grew up uh, hearing about the effects of PTSD on soldiers, but it's seldom that we have explored it through the eyes of black soldiers in America, especially during the Vietnam War. Black GI, your government sent 600,000 troops to crush the rebellion. Your soul sister and soul brothers are enraged in over 122 cities. They killed them. Why you fight against us? So far away from where you are needed. Fighting for a country that is yet to even see you as equal citizens must cause a certain level of confliction that most of us couldn't even imagine. And this was exemplified remarkably through the actors' brilliant performances. Due to the movie's marketing, um, I believe a lot of us went into it believing that Chadwick Boseman would be the breakout star. But that title would absolutely have to go to the actor that portrayed Paul, Mr. Delroy Lindo. Out of all the soldiers, uh, it was evident that he was the one that suffered the most mentally from the effects of the war. Most of the tonal shifts that uh, I referred to earlier uh, actually resulted from him stealing a scene. It's not to say that the shifts in tone in the film weren't ever warranted or took you outside of the movie. From what I know about Spike Lee, uh, this is quite common practice, but in this film I felt it highlighted not only the veterans experience in America, but the black experience as a whole. I might actually be digging too deep, uh, but from what I saw, the film told us that when moments were good, whether with friends or family, they were really good. Um, when things were bad, they got really bad. Uh, and that line from really good to really bad was extremely thin. All in all, uh, The Five Bloods was a beautiful film about war, some of our country's sullen memories, as well as brotherhood. And I would have to say, it's a definite must see. Uh, whether you're a Spike Lee fan or not. Also, in my opinion, this film could not have come out at a better time. Question, uh, do you guys ever find yourself wondering how you could support a larger cause while also simultaneously supporting some dope artwork? Give the hashtag I'll Be Your Voice Project a look. Link below in the bio. Uh, pick yourself up some shirts, some stickers. All proceeds will be donated to The Bell Project and Black Lives Matter, as well as building the website and awareness. Anyways, per usual, leave a sweet comment below, subscribe, I'll catch you all in my next video. Peace!